do you have any um, advice for people who um, are still struggling trying to tell their story? Like, wh- what's um, what's some tips? Like, if you're blocked doing it, what what would be some advice you would have for for trying to get past that? Oh, the first thing I always recommend is to step away. Um, you know, I find myself if I'm working hour after hour, um, looking at the same document or working on the same material, uh, my brain doesn't function anymore, but I'll step away, you know, have a cup of coffee, uh, Mm. uh, take your dog for a walk and I come back to it and I find that the inspiration is there or I've got a new, um, uh, something happens and all of a sudden I'm re-energized to get over that hurdle or that, or that block. So I always recommend just step away. Mm Mm-hmm. And when you step away, it kind of, yeah, it gives you a time to think about what matters most about the story. Would you recommend as another way to help with that, having somebody read your story or, um, I mean, or having like, um, do you find that that helps? You mean during the process? It it does. It does help because um, I made the mistake of not having somebody read my story, uh, my original story, and I regretted it later because there was Mm – the person – when a friend of mine read it later on, she asked me so many questions that had I thought about it or had somebody read it before, I I said, oh, yes, I should put that in there or, or, oh, my gosh, I forgot about this. So having somebody read the story – um, at certain points is very valuable. Um, it may also tell you not only what did you forget or, or may want to include, but also, uh, things that may be unclear to a reader or that the reader may have questions about. So it's very important that you have somebody read the story along with you, uh, you know, at, at certain points. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I feel like I would be almost embarrassed or maybe, um, shy or I don't, I, although that kind of you know tie it back to the beginning, that kind of comes back to I guess what you said at the beginning, which is having the confidence, feeling that your story is actually worthwhile. Yes, it, it it's you know it's um it's a difficult part of the process because of course there's confidence involved, but bigger still, you want to find somebody that's going to be honest with you. You don't want just mm-hmm. somebody to say, "Oh yeah, good job, you're writing a book." You need somebody that's yeah. going to give you honest feedback to say, look, this is good. You're maybe on the right track, but, um, and I feel like, you know, when you're talking about uh, being a guru, that's something that I truly, um, value. And I know that I offer to my clients is that is honesty, whether mm-hmm. it's a friend or a family member that you ask to read your story. Um, it doesn't really matter. But, you know, one of the things that I do is I read uh, client stories and I, I can give them that open, honest feedback to say, um, you know, this is good, but I think you should go in this direction or this is good. Uh, it needs work here. Or uh, what did you mean by this? Or, you know, a lot of times we have those thoughts in our head. They don't actually come out of our mouths or they don't flow through our fingers as we type. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, you as the author may have intended or thought that you shared the whole story, but somebody else reading it says, oh, wait a second. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. So it's yeah. important to, to get that out and get that honest feedback. 